I'm Emily. And I'm Jennifer. And together, we're making stuff happen. <laughs> I'm like, ah. It sounds super weird, but I trust you. It's good. We're all about entertaining with cultured foods. What we're looking to do is incorporate them into everyday delicious meals or appetizers or beverages that you would already be making. I think we added a little extra pizzazz. I feel like our friendship just reached new level. I think so. It's your first time, so no pressure. Cheers to a fantastic <laughs> experience. Welcome back to the Spoiled to Perfection Kitchen. Today we are making lassi, which I have no idea what that is, and Jennifer is going to explain it to me. What's a lassi? Well, a lassi is a really delicious yogurt and fruit smoothie type beverage, but what makes a lassi different than a smoothie is an element of a savory or spicy ingredient. So we're gonna make some with strawberries and some of your fresh basil today. Awesome. And then we're also gonna do mango and cardamom. This is cool, because I always get lassi when I go out to Indian restaurants and I never actually knew what it was that I was drinking. So. Now you can impress your friends <laughs> next time they're over and whip up some lassi. Can you guys some lassi? Let's right. do this. Let's do it. So do you know the easiest way to cut a mango? I never have cooked with mango. So you want to find his eye, or her eye. Yeah, why does it have to be a boy? <laughs> you want to find her eye, and you want to move over just about a half an inch from that, and that'll give you a chance to move around the seed. So what we're going to do is we're going to get her cheeks off first. We want to just follow the seed and get the rest of the sides off as well. I don't even see it. Oh. This middle part is really thick. It's hard to cut. And we'll take our smaller knife, and we'll just make small cross hatches in here. And it'll help us get the mango out super easily. So then we're just gonna hold the very top skin and just slide your knife down to get all that great juicy fruit. So while you're enjoying that <laughs> seed, do you want me to keep chopping or do you wanna try one? I'll do it. Okay. Look at you cutting mangoes like a champ. I got this. Oh, it's so slippy. Oh, this is scary. <laughs> this is so. You can leave it down on. So very. Oh no. Well, you don't want to go to the seed though. I'm. Uh, this is hard. See, there you go. That's perfect. Leave all that behind. Leave all the fibrous stuff. This is not a child safe activity. It's so pretty. You know, all this cooking that we've done together and neither of us have bled. Impaled, impaled or each other. Have each other. That's a lot of mango. Prepped for one of them. And then in the other one, we're gonna do strawberries. Okay. So let's cut up some strawberries. And into quarters. There needs to be like quite a bit of liquid. Quite a bit. <laughs> Ooh, that's wild. The basil's gonna go with the strawberries. And each of our lassi today is going to get a squeeze of lime in with it because a little bit of acidity just works with these recipes and brightens them up. Oh, watch your eyes. I'm going to get you. Watch yourself. Oh, <laughs> oh sorry that I get you. Yes. <laughs> We're going to do three quarters cup for each one. So if you will dollop in mine as well. I'm going to do in each of ours a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay, now the mango lassi is going to get about a quarter teaspoon of cardamom. A little cardamom goes a long way. The strawberry basil is going to get about a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Let's add our fruit and basil. So strawberry burrito. Okay, tell me when to stop. Okay, so we're just going to aim for about a tablespoon of honey. That should be good. And this is one of those ingredients you can leave out. I happen to really love it in. Some people use brown sugar. Let's blend them up. You wanna pour strawberry and I'll pour mango? Okay. Look at that. How cute! They are beautiful. I can't wait to try them. This looks delicious. It's, it's just warming up outside. Mm -hmm. It's just perfect right now. Mm. Wow, that is so different than I was expecting it to taste. The cardamom comes 
perfectly in this. It's it's not too overpowering. I can definitely taste the cinnamon. I'm gonna try mine. Strawberry and basil is one of those great combinations that we don't always think about, but it's incredible. It tastes just like at the restaurant. Join us next time as Jennifer and I create another cultured recipe to entertain your friends and family with. And visit us at spoiltoperfection.com and youtube.com slash spoiltoperfection for recipes and blogs.